with the last class for the start tutorial. Today what we're going to do is we're going to des design the concrete components um, in this structure to detail deflection, detail steel reinforcement <coughs> as per the ECI code. Right? And it's pretty simple. So this is not the structure that we did last time, but I've gone through all the properties, material properties, the form, um, boundary conditions, um, boundary conditions, what else? Um, hand loads as well, and I've run the analysis and everything worked up. So now we're going to design the concrete members. So first, we go to design, select concrete, choose the appropriate code. This time we'll be using ACI 31008. Define parameters. For the compressive strength of concrete, we use 30,000 kilonewtons per meter squared. Select add. For the yield strength and the reinforcement, 415,000. Add. For the secondary steel as well, 415,000. Add. For the maximum main reinforcement bar size, we will use 32 millimeters. Add. For the minimum, we will use 5 inches to 16 millimeters. Add. <clears throat> um, we could leave this out. Everything else, we don't really need to deal with. Close off this. For all these um, parameters, we could assign to view. So, FC3000 assigned to view, assign. FY main, assign to view, assign. FY sec, assign to view, assign. Max main, same as. Min main, same as. The last thing we need to do now is go into commands and add each one of these commands. For the design beam, just select the beams. And assign it to that. For the col design column, just select the column. Assign it to that. And for the design element, select all the plates. And assign it to that. And then you're done. Return to the analysis command and run the analysis. So it ran through the analysis. Um, let's look at the output file. <clears throat> right. So just go to results, concrete design, and it gives you in sections. So the first thing will give you the beams. Design it by flex, flexure and um, say that um, they'll give you the section. So two five inch bars at the top, two five inch bars at the bottom. They have, um, they have it in cross section here. Um, and they didn't recommend any stirrups. But um, see here, they say stirrups are not required. But um, even if you're not using the stirrups for share, you will still. Um, add stirrups to the design to hold the bars in place in terms of constructability. All right. Now, as I said, this is different. Now, look here now for uh, beam number nine, wherever that is. Uh, they add the stirrups at set 12, uh, number eight stirrups, which is highly unlikely. You don't use number eight stirrups, you usually use um, three stirrups. So, if they said the centers is 143, you could probably change it to 75 mils. 
Well, as I said, this is just to test it for you to, um, you could do this in your own structure or your own analysis, you'll get different results. Um, okay, for example, uh, looking at beam number 14, uh, beam number 20, B21, 66. 14 gotta be here. Beam number 14, if you double click on it and go to concrete design, gives you the design as well as the stirrups. Eight number 12, eight number 12 bars, which is in construction we do use number 12 stirrups. So um, at 143 you could um, reduce this, the diameter of the bars and shorten the spaces between the bars. Um, another thing you could do here, you could look at the deflection, look at the deflection, pick one of the one of the combination loads, Y direction, and it shows you the deflection. This is rather small. Um, and the next thing you could do, you could go to print, and you could print this, <coughs> this report in a PDF. Now I have Nitro PDF, you may have another PDF printer. And uh, you proceed, you go ahead and print. I will call this <coughs> test test print save Alright, so let's go through the final stages of creating the PDF. Alright. So there you have it, this is the output, this is the PDF. You can see you have a title block showing you job information, whatever, whatever. Um, if you had put in the information before, you, it will be generated by these blocks here. And start procreate concrete design, beam number 14 even labels the beams for you, tell you the code, gives you the spacing, two number 16 on top, two number 16 at the bottom, eight number 12, um, give you moments, it gives you uh, width, that's general stuff, and this is a sample report that you can do. Alright, so I hope this has been helpful, and this will, as I said before, this will be the final start tutorial. Um, please, never please, <laughs> please press like when viewing these videos, I appreciate it, and have a blessed day. Bye.